Kelly from Kelly's Astrology. I'm back with another Q&A video. One of the things I do is teach students all around the world astrology, how to read a birth chart, how to interpret different parts of your life according to the planetary placements in your chart. And one of the things I get asked a lot, and this question was actually submitted by one of my uh, subscribers to my monthly membership, they asked, uh, I'm wondering what the essential or the best five books that you would recommend for someone who is learning astrology, particularly if that person would like to master the basics quickly. So here is a list of five books that will help you learn the basics of astrology. Now, I do have an orientation where I practice more of a traditional style of astrology, drawing on Hellenistic techniques primarily. And so these books are skewed in that direction. That said, there's a lot of crossover in terms of what planets mean, what houses mean, how to understand aspects and planetary configurations. So even if you don't necessarily stay in the traditional astrology space, this will be a good starting point for you as well. Okay, so the first book is called Traditional Astrology for Today. Uh, it's by Dr. Benjamin Dykes. Now, it's a slim little book, so it's very accessible. And if you really want to get a grasp of some of the core concepts, both in astrology, but that are also specific to the traditional framework of astrology, this is a great primer. It's called An Introduction to Astrology, so it's not super detailed. It doesn't go into lots of historical uh, data. And so if you're looking for more of a research orientation, this won't be the book for you. I do have something later I'm going to recommend that you'll like instead. But this is an excellent starting place. I use it a lot for students because there's some really clear factual information and very clear about uh, the technique, you know, keeping it simple but still being really effective. So an introduction uh, to traditional astrology for today by Dr. Benjamin Dykes, first book. The second book is called an Introduction to Traditional Natal Astrology by Charles Overt. Now, this is a great primer. It's a little bit more comprehensive than uh, Ben Dykes' book. So there's, the, like by that I mean it's a thicker book, so there's more in it. It does go into a little bit more detail and it is more of a workbook style. So it will take you through all the facts and the terms that you need to memorize whether you're doing traditional or just want to do a modern style of astrology, all the info you need is in here to get you started. So that's a great book too. If you've got questions about specific terms, Charles's book is really great to look them up and see what they mean and perhaps a few tips on how to use them. Now, the next book is just was such a surprise to me. I did not expect how much I got out of this book. It's called The Houses, Temples of the Sky by Deborah Holding. It is about the 12 houses in astrology, and they are one of our core or foundational topics. If you want to learn astrology, you need to learn the 12 houses, the 12 zodiac signs. You need to learn about the planets, whether you learn just the seven original visible planets or you learn uh, the three modern planets for a total of 10 planets as well. And you also need to learn aspects. So there's information about all four of those uh, pieces in these two books and in the other books I'm going to share. Uh, this book does focus on the houses. Now, it will teach you about the topics of the 12 houses, but it explains in part why some of the houses mean what they do. Going back to the Egyptian, the ancient Egyptian orientation of the day and the cycle of the sun being linked to a birth death cycle. There are also some little extra topics for each house that you may not be aware of that you will get your head around by reading this book. So I recommend this to all students of astrology of all levels. If you haven't read it, it's such a great addition to your bookshelf, but more importantly, it will add wisdom and knowledge into your brain, which is where we really want to get it. Now, for probably the most comprehensive yet still accessible workbook, I would recommend this one. It's called On the Heavenly Spheres, A Treatise on Traditional Astrology by Helena Avila and Louis Ribeiro. So this is more of a workbook style than anything I've mentioned so far. A lot more detail. There's worked chart examples in here so you can really see the theory in action. If you just want to buy one book to get you started, this would be the one. And it's a great reference. I use uh, sections of this book as reading for students in my training classes. And again, there's a lot of uh, wonderful info. This has got, I would say this has beginner, intermediate and advanced information. There's information on fixed stars in addition to all 
all of those wonderful things, phases, aspects. Uh, so there's a lot more detail here, a lot more comprehensive information. So that's another great one to grab. Now, this next book isn't so much a workbook about technique, but it is essays about the ideas that inform and infuse astrology. And it's a book that really got me thinking. And so I do recommend it to students today. It's called The Real Astrology by John Frawley. In particular, there's an essay in here called The Nature of Time, which is a great exploration of how time and astrology are so intimately intertwined. So there will be things you can pick up out of this book that are to do with your technique. Uh, but it's not explicitly a how-to book. It's more of an invitation to think more deeply and more broadly about astrology as a whole. So that brings me to the top five books that I would recommend for you to start reading if you want to sort of teach yourself astrology or as workbooks to complement any online or in-person astrology classes you might be taking. So there's the five books that I recommended. Now, when I did a blog post on this, I added two bonus books. So if you feel like you've got a grounding in astrology or you've got a sense of traditional astrology and you want more, you want to get into the origins of things, maybe the history history of things, or you just want to explore some of the topics in more depth. There are two amazing books that have just been published in the last couple of years that I want to mention. So one is my dear friend and colleague, Chris Brennan's book called Hellenistic Astrology, The Study of Fate and Fortune. As you can see, I have really uh, gone to town on this book. It's an excellent reference if you want to know who did what with astrology, when and where in history. This is like part astrological history book, part uh, commentary on technique. So there's both practical as well as theoretical information here. And it's a little bit doggy, but that's how you know a book is well-loved. A book that I've only got more recently, so it isn't quite as trashed as Chris's book, but I could tell it's going to be, is uh, one of my mentor and teachers, uh, Demetra George's book, Ancient Astrology, a Manual of Traditional Techniques. And this is volume one of what will be a two-volume series. It's also something I've been diving into. So if you, I mean, if you just want one really comprehensive book, either Chris or Demetra's book will do the trick. But if you want some smaller bite size pieces to build up to, then those first five books that I recommend uh, would be the place to start. So I'm going to share the link below of the blog post where I reference these books. If you would like to take an introduction course into traditional astrology with me, I have a three-part online training. I'm going to link to that below. I mentioned that this question came in via one of my members to my monthly subscription. If you're interested in that, I'll link to that in the comments below. But I do want to hear from you. What are your favorite astrological books? What books did you read that really helped you in your journey to learn and understand astrology? If you'd like more from me, do pop over and check out my website, kellysastrology.com. And I hope that you'll take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I'll be continuing to take your questions and give you some answers and input to guide you on your journey with astrology. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.